Hello, I am Kat Woods. So welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a couple of, I guess, reviews today over Mr. Penn products. They had emailed me um, and he's totally doing something new. He started out with a planner, but this isn't your normal planner. This is actually a planner that's going to help you, um, encourage you to do your Bible study. So he told me to give him my feedbacks on what I thought about it. So I was super excited to be a part of this adventure with him. This is the box. I totally love this floral look. Oh, so, so, so beautiful. And then we have the planner itself. And it is, I have to say, the perfect size. I love the size of it, the gold spirals. So, so classy looking. It is obviously a hard cover. On the back, we got this Starry Night. It's from Mr. Pin. And I'll have his website linked in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Also in the pinned comment. We have beautiful furs. All right, it's jumping in. And what I like about the spirals, you guys, it lays flat. So you can use stamps. You can just really be creative in here and it's on a flat surface unlike if it's bound you have to sit there and fight the covers to lay open so we get a couple of goodies here and then the recommendations on how you can use it i'm actually going to tape it or glue it to the front of my planner here We have the cover, then we have the to and from. Nice blank, couple of pages at the beginning. I like this because you can sketch, you can be creative. You can kind of start your own little dashboard for how you're going to use this. Or you can just write in some quotes. And then this is the actual layout. All right, so we have the date up here, and then we also have, um, you can circle like the day of the week that you're on. We have the verse that you're going to be studying. He has a reflection, and then questions over what your this actual scripture. Totally, totally love that. So you don't no longer have to come to your Bible and ask yourself, where can I study? What can I do? This whole planner is designed into helping you study your Bible, actually give you questions, get your wheels turning. Love this concept, especially for a new or even seasoned Christian. You hear seasoned Christians all the time sitting there with their Bibles, and many haven't even read it cover to cover, just for the simple fact as they don't know what to do with their Bible. So we have the to-do, and it's your reading list, what all you're going to read today. You can write on um, what you plan on reading, or you can write on what you have done. It's kind of a fun way just to sit there and check it off. Then we have a little box over here for notes. And then down here at the bottom, it's what you're thankful for. Love this concept. It is beautiful. I have another, a second one over here. And I don't know if you could really tell. You probably can. I like really dissecting and kind of doing like a... um like an inductive study through the verse. So if you maybe don't like writing in your Bible, you don't like marking up your Bible, but you enjoy how that looks, you can bring that into this planner. You can mark up this planner as much as you want. So this is what a blank page will look like. Again, there's a verse, there are reflections, and they have some questions to go over. so so beautiful and that's going to be like the whole week so you got the whole week that you're going to do that and then on sunday we have the sermon notes now i don't know if you can really tell it you probably can because i can see it from here they have a faded there's like a quote in the light gray in the back so gorgeous so it says let us go into god's the house of god so and weekly goals so your weekly goals for your spiritual growth for the following week. You can write that down here. And then it continues on. Now, I did, um, 
I did also, because he wanted my, my input, we all know how I love color. So I did um, suggest maybe keeping one in black and white because this gives you, you're freely to add whatever colors yet that you want. You, you don't have um, a limited theme that you have to work with because of the colors that's already in here. You can add whatever colors. You can add in whatever color washi, um, color pins that you want to use. You can just do, this is a blank canvas because it is just in black, black and white. Um, but I thought maybe adding a couple of, a little color here and there would be a great, a great idea too. Just because I like color. So that was my only, my only suggestion. The size is amazing. I do like the, um, the thickness of it. I don't know exactly how thick. I don't believe I have my ruler with me. It's in my work bag. So, um, I do believe it's like an inch. This right here is a two inch Bible. So compare that. So yeah, it's probably like an inch, maybe an inch and a half thick. So make sure you go over and check out this planner, you all, for all of my planner babes that love to actually just write down. You're keeping track of your spiritual growth. I love this idea. So I can't wait to use it all up. I will be more creative as time goes on. I just got it, so I haven't had the time to really explore it. And again, whenever I get a chance to give praises and tell you all, go grab these crowns, you guys. They are amazing. I love them. I love the way how smoothly they are when you uh, mark them in your Bible, how bright and vibrant. But there's no bleed through. Like, let me show you. Whenever I get a chance to tell you guys about those, I, I'm going to take it because it's just, they're so amazing. Now look at this red. Red is normally a, not a color you can really use because it, you know, it's so dark. It can be, it can be bleed through or whatever. Look at that. You can't see nothing. And then down here is the red. I kind of wiped that one out a little bit. You can't see anything. Love it. The pink, that yellow. Look at that yellow. That's the highlighter yellow. So in this pack, you would get two yellows right here. One of them is an actual regular yellow. That is the regular yellow. That's not the highlighter. This is the highlighter. Look at the difference and that color really it pops it really pops off the page but it's it's a gel it's not like there's no waxy consistency like filling to it let it dry when you first put it on and you go to wipe it you will feel something but give it I don't know maybe a minute minute and a half to dry and you all it is beautiful there's no um it won't transfer from page to page It's just, it's stunning. I love, love those, those gel. Now they're called sleek. Um, if you look, I don't think he changed the name. Oh yeah, it's like I know he didn't change the name on him. So yeah, go grab them. They are amazing. There's also a black and a white one in here. I haven't. I've tested them out, but I haven't really like used them yet especially in a Bible. So I'm pretty sure like a journal or your planner, you can totally use it. And this is from their other pack. This nice little um, peachy looking color, that's from their other pack. They do have two different packs. This is the crowns, the other is the actual highlighter. So check them out, you all. All right, so I always have to give praises on those. And then I love these little packs. Let me back you out a little bit. These, I did a review on all these products already, except for the planner, so that's why I'm just pre-showing you them. Um, he is doing some updates, especially to this. I love this pack so much, but he also came in and he added some tags, you all. So, say you're um, marking in your Bible and you want to write in, oh, hold on, I'll stick you on pause one second. All right, so these little tags over here that we can make 
the flags really they come right here it's all those flags came from these little flags down here below but he also provided these so we can write up on the actual posting note itself so say we want to say prayers we write down prayer then we come over here we pull off one of these little stickers Oh, it's pulling off two of them. I'm trying to get the just the one sticker itself, but the whole thing's coming off. I might have to get an X-Acto knife. This is not very good for the video here. Am I doing it wrong? Yeah, no, you should be able just to peel it off, but the whole back wants to come off. So I think it's a sticker. There it is. Okay. All right. There we go. So you see that sticker part? That is what you will peel off and you will put it over what you have written down. So it will look like it's laminated. It will look like an actual tag. Totally love that that is so cool and I cannot wait to try it out so we have the big long sheets over here the little squared grid sheets and then the plain ones and then your regular little posty notes so totally cool how he added that that is a new touch and then he also sent me his exhorted how many I don't even know how many this is normally they say on the pack but they're his file liners, so they look like the Stadlers, and they're like almost every single color, just like the Stadlers. So it's like the I don't know, maybe the 24 or 20 pack, and they're the 0 0.04 milliliter. Love how tiny they are, you guys. It is itty bitty. Now I have not tried them in my Bible. I know the Stadlers; they're way too, too strong. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. They're right here. No, I don't think that's it. Let's just tr let's try. We'll try a red one. Now, I know the regular Stadlers right here, I can't use them in my Bible because they're just, it's a marker tip. A lot of marker tips I can't use unless they say it's made for the Bible. This red is super light. This kind of looks like a pink. Oh, I was going to write Mr. Penn Stadler, but it's not. It's felt tip. Yeah, that's a super light red. Okay. And there is no bleed through. There's only bleed through from that Stadler. So that is super, super cool. I can try, and that's... It's supposed to be a dark color, but it's really not a dark color. So maybe let's try this teal color. And they have that little snappy sound, just like a Stadler would. Now there is a little bit, like right here. I don't know if I held it on too long, but there, there is a little bit of bleed through with the darker color. But nothing like there is with the Stadler or this one up here. What is that one? Oh, that's the Paper Mate Flare. <laughs> yeah, so those marker felt tip type ones, you guys, I really do not bring them into my Bible because they just, they bleed through. But this is a super tiny nib. Um, if you write quickly and don't press down, because I do have a heavy hand, you should be able to use them. And this is a regular Bible. This is not a journaling Bible. That's another thing. Journaling Bibles, you will be, you will be okay with it. All right. So that's another thing to 
just test it out. Test everything out in the back of your Bible before you come over. Pick out your favorite verse, mark it all up, and then you realize, oh, it bleeds through. Do not do that to yourself. All right, so that is it. Those are my products reviews for this video. Make sure you check out his website, you all. Um, let him know that I sent you. You've seen my video. Um, but okay, if you do have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. I will let you go. I hope you all have an amazing Easter, a safe one, and a beautiful one. I will talk to you all later. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's art box.